Oh, Rudy Fernandez, welcome back. So we are back at our base. We have Horde Night tomorrow night. And so we got a few preparations to do, nothing crazy. A couple things I did want to do. I want to make a machete, because we can make that now. We can make a quality four machete. Okay, I think it's like, oh my God, we need 11 duct tape. Holy, it's gonna take half of our steel, but I think that'll be worth it. I wanted to make preacher gloves for tomorrow because they do give us, I won't say that here, but increased damage dealt to the dead, undead. So that'll be good for Horde Knight, I think. In addition to whatever armor I end up deciding to wear. And I also wanted to make the mini bike, which it looks like the only thing we're missing, the mini bike candles, which we can make. So yeah, let's go ahead and crank out those few things. Alrighty, so we got the mini bike crafted. I do think I only have like 900 gas to my name, which should... Okay, there's a little bit more right there. We have quite a bit of gas to our name. Should be able to get us back and forth to Bob's. Um, I might use the mini bike a little bit sparingly right now since we don't have a consistent source of gas. We do have the mini bike now. I went and made the level four machete, put the burning shaft mod on it and the structural brace mod which lowers the degradation by 25%. There's a couple other mods we could put on there. I don't have them, but we'll look out for that. And then I did make the creature gloves, which we'll use for Horde Knight. And I did want to go over and look at our Horde base. I think I found the shape that I actually initially wanted to use for the fighting position. It's called the scaffolding plank. So the idea is that we would put it... Basically, let's see, how is that? I think that would work. I'd want to put it like right, probably on like this layer. See how painful this is going to be. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy these and see how that's going to look. That doesn't quite, maybe I need a different rotation. That doesn't quite snap where I like wanted it to. Huh. Oh, we do have an airdrop coming in. I think that's the shape I want to use, but it's not snapping how I thought it was going to snap. I don't know how to get it to snap the way I want to, you know? <laughs> I think perhaps if I had like a bigger fighting position, this would work out. So I guess we'll go back to the uh, scaffolding ladder. <laughs> Or I might alternate. There's another shape too that I've used in the past. It's this plate hole shape. I know in the past this used to block cop spit. I don't know if it still does. I don't think we'll have to worry about cop spit this time around. So, well, you know, we'll try the shape just for funsies. This should be the last horde night that we're using this horde base, anyways. Let's see, Jimmy. All right. And then one other shape I wanted to put on here, just to keep zombies from stacking up, is the diagonal security gate. Yes, this one. Just so that they can't, like I know a couple almost got on the roof last time. So they should hopefully keep them from doing that. Okay. So I just need to go grab some wood, cobblestone, and get those upgraded. But first, let's go ahead and try out the mini bike. We'll use it to go get that supply drop. Oh my god. We're in the motorized era. Oh my god, why am I getting stone shovels? Yo, but the hammer. I'm glad I came and got this before I try to start upgrading. That's going to make things so much faster. I think I can actually make a better one of these. But we got a free one. And... Couple armored up books and a shotgun weekly. Okay. I also want to stop by Wrecked and see if he has a iron pickaxe. I think I can actually, I think I can make them. Let's see. Pick. Yeah, I can make a tier two. I don't know. I probably need to make the duct tape. I don't know if I have the forged iron, but we can probably get the forged iron. We'll go and stop by Wrecked and see if he's got anything cool we want to buy. Okay, I think I might go and splurge and buy all Shit, this concrete man, mix. You that good, um, and you don't even fucking tip me. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use all of that on our current or base, but at least I'll have that sock piled up for when we start making modifications to our corner cafe. 
Okay, I got enough stuff to craft the tier two pickaxe because I might spend the night or the rest of the day after do a few horde base modifications. I might spend it either demoing some stuff here so we can start working on this base or I might go farm stuff more cobblestone. So like stone and clay. Okay, one hand upgraded all of this to concrete. Let's fix that. Upgrade these. I wanna see, this could be a bad idea. I'm gonna see if we can fall off this without taking any damage. We can, okay, with the, the Duke's book and with our parkour, we can fall off that without any, any penalty. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more upgrades and I'll meet y'all back whenever that's done. Oh, I hear screamers. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, they may have attracted some friends. So it looks like if they want to try to get to our base, they go in here. Okay, we got one friend here. Okay. Yeah, you did attract some friends. That's okay. A few friends. God, this is so nice. Everybody come here. Don't smack my base. Yeah, with the screamers starting to like appear now, I really want to make a way for the zombies to like come up. Oh, hi. And so that way they aren't like beating on some weird structure down here that I don't know about and maybe like slowly start destroying this building. So <laughs> kind of why I wanted to start, yeah, working on this. So I did start upgrading most of the base, or I'm gonna do probably do the entire base as a cobblestone. Uh, just to be extra safe, and I am out, so we're gonna have to probably go farm some stone and clay. Alright, and do the mining, I did equip. I have a mining helmet, I added the strength mod to it, so we technically have two into strength right now. It doesn't really help us, because we don't have any points anywhere else, but eventually that will be really nice. And I also have the mining gloves. So with the mining helmet, we get plus 5% ore harvest bonus. I don't know if that counts for clay and stone. It just as it increases the mining tool harvest, so maybe for stone. And then the gloves increase the damage of mining tools. So it's mostly clay that we're low on though. So we'll start with that. And I cannot I'm having one heck of a time trying to mine here. Wandering horde. Can we get out of here just in case? Oh yeah, wandering horde. Okay. Hi everybody. You caught me when I was out of stamina. No loot bag. That was disappointing. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the tools are nice because I'm, I'm getting more stone per hit, but I'm just running out of stamina. We definitely need to start putting some points into Minor 69er. All right, we did get a skill point, so let's go ahead. Minor 69er. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Let me farm my stone in peace. Okay, so now I got like a thousand stone and clay. Let's go and turn all of that into cobblestone and get back to doing a little upgrading. I do believe that is everything upgraded to cobblestone. Mine is the ladder. Ladder can stay wood. I did want to upgrade, I think, the pole to concrete. Oh, okay, right here. The, <laughs> the 
box above here need to be cobblestone. Okay, then yeah, I just wanted to upgrade this to concrete and maybe the connecting blocks as well. Okay, well, I do believe this should be more than okay for Horde Knight. The only thing I might do, I'm considering, is putting a block like right here and putting that robotic sledge that we got that could knock over the zombies if they get piled up. That could be fun. I don't think that'll cause any problems with zombies trying to like climb over there. Can I even place this over here the way I want it to? I might have to like put some nerd pole up there and place it. Okay. Oops, that's, I don't know what I'm doing apparently. <laughs> Let's try that again. Is that like too close? Why are you facing that way? I think that should be okay. I mean, I don't really have any use for this otherwise. I don't really, I didn't really have any plans for this in a build, but um, you know what? It'll do, <laughs> it'll do. Okay, so I think the base is officially ready for two nights, about 20 hours from now. I think otherwise we'll spend the rest of our time Maybe doing some demo work on our current base. And maybe farming up. I mean, we have like a hundred thousand, over a thousand cobblestone. That should be enough for repairs. So we shouldn't that. Okay, let's get, actually, let me get the block that the turret's on up to cobblestone at least. Okay. Okay, I did move it back a little bit because it was making me a little nervous how close it was. Okay. Now do some demo work. I'm still absolutely baffled how this thing is still standing. It hasn't fallen. I'm convinced, I'm hoping it's like this bottom trim that is somehow supporting it. So I've been smacking that, we'll see. It's still standing. Still standing somehow. Ow, ow, okay, it was, oh. <laughs> okay, at least, oh, I was gonna say it didn't destroy my forge, but it did destroy some of the, yeah, this roof's actually only wood. It's a little awkward. Okay, it was like, I don't even know, it was supported by like the little plates? I don't know. The physics in some of these that are very silly. We definitely wanna get the blocks that are underneath, like our forge and stuff, upgrade to cobblestone if that's gonna be the case. I have to go underneath to upgrade those blocks. Okay, at least I can, oh, at least I can kind of tell which blocks need to upgrade because I upgraded the one. Thought I heard a thread? I guess not. Okay, we'll eventually get the rest of this roof upgraded to cobblestone once we're like super cobblestone wealthy. I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem until we actually start using this as a horde base. I think for now, I'll keep it going on, trucking on with the uh, demo work. It is crazy how like, so there's just this little corner right here, had a thousand hit points. Yeah, like these right here, a thousand hit points. <laughs> oh no, we have screamers. Why do we have screamers? Oh, is it cause I'm smacking? Please don't scream. I, I think she might've screamed. You usually come in pairs. Where is your friend? Oh, yep. Or, yeah, that should be, okay. Oh boy. Oh, I hear her. Look, I'm just, I'm just trying to fix my base. Why, why do you have to cause me problems? Where are the friends? Oh, I am smacking over here. I don't know what they're smacking on. Okay, I mean, it's like on that fence is okay. <laughs> oh, I hear more smacking. I think we might be okay. I honestly feel like sometimes what attracts screamers 
is a little silly. Like, I'm just sitting there smacking, demoing stuff, and the game's like, let's send a couple, a couple screamers at her. Now, having the forge is running, I get that. I get that, that's fair. But... I'm just a little, little Maggie trying to get her base in uh, fighting order. <laughs> So I'm sitting here smacking this generator that has 10,000 HP. I tried wrenching it. It doesn't... Does it do more? But it's like not giving me like mechanical parts or electronic parts. Electrical parts, so... You would be feeling a little scammed here. And I also I just realized I wanted to try to make this a... Uh, Magnum? Make a tier 4... Oh, we need- why do we need springs for a magna? I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, we don't have the springs for it. Um, I don't think we need that for Horde Knight. We're probably gonna use the machete, then we'll fall back on the AK. If things get really weird, but... Okay, note to self. I think we get those mostly from cars. We still have a lot of cars here at the base that I can wrench down. Generator's gone. Happy days. Okay, you can wrench lanterns for a couple of triple parts, I guess. That's that's fun. Nope. We have anger. On the plus side, while doing this, I farmed like a thousand iron. I went in and put it in the forge, but... Um, you know, at least we're getting some resources. Nope. I think we have a wandering horde going by. Yep, hello. Okay, why does this have a thousand hit points? It is half broken. Okay, we have officially gotten rid of all of the air conditioning ducts. Um, I still need to get rid of this pipe. Um, these are also a thousand hit points each. And we have those little fun corners that are also a thousand hit points. Uh, so that's what we're gonna work on now. I have absolutely gone through the food too. Like, I think I had probably 10, 15 cooked meat when I started this. Down to one here. I have seven here. So food is kind of becoming a problem because I don't have the mushrooms or really the potatoes to sustain like steak and potato meals. So that's another thing we're gonna have to work on next week. One down, only one more to go. Okay, all of the metal trim gone. Uh, Horror Knight is getting close, so probably at like 20 hundred. I'm gonna make sure I got everything gathered and we'll start heading over there. I'm gonna work on these pipes for about an hour though. Okay, thankfully the pipes are significantly easier to clear up. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks really, really good. Um, thankfully this right here is only made out of wood, so that should be hopefully relatively easy. I need to get rid of that trim all the way around. But for now, we must prepare for Horde Knight. So I think as far as armor goes, I think we're gonna go, I'll go with the biker helmets, creature gloves, and I don't have, I think I'll just wear assassin for the rest because I don't really have, I haven't looted much else that is better. The biker helmet has a little bit better stun resist than this. Actually, it has the same, doesn't it? And it's medium armor. Okay, we'll do the commando helmet instead. Okay, we should have plenty. I got materials to repair. I got ammo for my guns. Maybe we'll just grab some more 762. Just because we have it. Should I need it? We're gonna be meleeing mostly, but 
You never be too sure. I got plenty of repair kits to repair things. Food, water. Okay. Now, we prepare for the Horde Knight. All right, Horde Knight starts in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I gotta say, it does feel pretty good not uh, having a Horde Knight with a broken arm. <laughs> that is a plus already. Okay, here they come. Should have zero problems. They should just come straight over here. I know last time they were kind of beating on the... Oh. The fence. Okay. Um. Oh, hi. You didn't... Oh. Okay, this... Robotic uh, sledge is working really good, actually. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, okay. You know what? You got this, bro. You let me know if you need me. Oh, I can't even attack them. Oh, okay. Should I go going down this coffee I have? Oh, okay. Oh, we do have a werewolf. See how he deals with the sledge. Oh, okay. He got bonked. Or is it a dire wolf? What are they called? Oh, okay. Nope, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, dire wolf is back. Oh, okay, he's gone. Just kidding. Oh, okay. Spider. Oh, okay, spider's gone. I don't even get a chance to do anything, bro. You're just booping them all off. I would like to kill this, this dire wolf. I might use, okay. If he comes back around, I might use the AK. Just to make sure he's gone, he's not somehow beating on my supports. Yeah, he's like down there kind of beating on the ramp a little bit. Let's see if we can't shoot at him. reload that's awkward stay with me nope okay he fell down yeah he is like kind of okay he is dead i just saw the loot bag drop okay i think they might be going into rage mode sometimes so i do see some of them like beat on the ramp i don't think they should be but Yeah, they're kind of... I don't know what's going on down there. <laughs> Only downside of this... Uh... Is this sledge? The, the turret? I might be losing on an XP if it's getting kills. But honestly, that's fine. I'd rather just make it through the Horde Knight. Why are you beating on that ramp? Okay. Yeah, what's going on? It's gotta be rage mode, right? There's some hustle going into rage mode. aren't taking very much damage. I think most of the damage is maybe me accidentally hitting the structure. So once we get the base set up, the horde base set up at the cafe, it's not going to be this easy because I'm, they're not going to be falling down like they are now. A lot of them fall down. We don't have to deal with them for a little bit. At the other horde base, they're all just going to be funneled straight. I mean, I have to, I have to deal with them. Oh, okay. A little hard to hit the dogs here. It's a little quiet. Okay, here we go. I just get a little nervous once it gets quiet. <laughs> like somehow they're beating on the, the, the structure. And I do think I am liking this uh, pole plate a little bit better. I feel like I just have more room to hit the zombies instead of having to name 
aim through like the little railings. It is nice to know they dropped the loot bags right here. Acid in that one, nice. I think I am still getting XP if this turret kills them because I, I think that dog just died to the turret and I got credit for <laughs> the dog and the zombie, maybe? Oh, okay. okay I've gotten two skill points so far tonight. Okay, I got less than an hour left. Should be cruising. Every once in a while, we got a troublemaker down there beating on the ramp. I love the combo of when the turret hits the zombies and I like knock off their head as they're falling. <laughs> I mean, this should be the last of them here. Can't hit you through the little bag, I'm so sorry. Watch the heads, we do like to see that. Okay, five, oh, four, <laughs> three, two. And one. All right. Happy New Year. Oh, okay. All right, we'll go and hop out to deal with the rest of them. Oh, the doges are... Ow, you don't have to do that. Ma'am, you don't need to smack my ramp. I'm right here. Hi. It's nice to see that this one uh, dire wolf bag is still here. <laughs> Do you want stone shovel? All right, I'm gonna grab all this loot and then we'll head back to the base and I'll show you what I got. A lucky looter to get more brass and loot. I'm gonna have to read that. My completely full my inventory. One of the magnum enforcer. Do 10% more damage with magnum weapons. Nice. I think that's all the loot. All right, let's, have, let's get somewhere safe and we'll take a look at it. Oh. Someone here is, is here to ruin my day. Hi. Were you just like late to the horde? Okay, so this is what we got. Definitely a few books we've already read. Seven armored ups. Some more assassin boots. I like that acid. The acid's nice. It's nothing like too crazy. We we'll go and sort through this. We'll put on our outfit and <laughs> read some of these books that we got. Okay, nerd outfit on. Let's see. We have so many armor books. I didn't see any buff bonuses there. So many tools. That must be because we put that point into minor 69er. Oh, there was a bonus there. Another bonus. Oh, <gasps> wait, we can make this cement mixer now. Huge. Huge. I doubt we have the stuff for it, but we could make it if we want to. Well, I do believe that's where we're going to wrap up. <laughs> oh my god, this <laughs> slider. This episode, another Horde Knight survived. Hopefully, by day 21, we'll be fighting right about here. Uh, with an electric fence, probably be our best bet for survival. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did find yourself enjoying the episode, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new here, drop the channel a sub. Good luck zombie slaying, and I will see you in the next one.